Um, there we go. Give me a second. I'm not going to be as responsive to... Chat, because I have to chat up on a... On my phone. apologize for that ahead of time. I don't know how long the stream will be either. It is night seven twenty that's it says twenty three, that's about it, yeah. I thought it was not playing sound, it was just quiet. I mean, I thought it was quiet, but it wasn't playing sound. Okay. I don't remember the name I used. Ooh, oh boy. Hmm. That's a good name. Let's... Let's call it Earth. I can't remember the names I used. I need to know, I think my audio should be coming through too, so that I should be, actually I'll check right now, is my, there is my audio, yep. I'll be seeing you later. Oh. Yeah, I forgot, you can, you can decorate this room here. I don't know that anyone ever does that. All the fake people. There we go. No, wait, it's Saturday. Wow. I forgot they had daylight savings time. I thought that was a thing.
one of these Pokemon. Let's... No. I don't want it. Then it's probably... This one! Yes! <laughs> My horns say, what? Let's call it right gun. Actually. You know what? Bash. We're calling you Bash. This is weird because I'm using a different key binding that I'm used to. I click this. Right? Okay. He's got an X. Okay. No horn attack. Impale whip. I forgot how strong my horn is. I guess that's some money, I guess. Never gonna use it. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I can't pin messages. I, hmm. I do. It'll be there. I don't really see a need to grind any levels or anything yet. Like, Rhyhorn is a significant advantage to what I'm used to. Like, <laughs> maybe when normal reaches here, we'll have to grind with Meow. And I get to catch a bunch of things in Route 1 in this game. There it's... It's two birds, and two just normal Pokemon that are just ground po Pokemon on the ground. And, um, it will be catching all of them. Uh, Furret will probably end up on my final team. I love that boy. I love my boy, for it. He's the best. Mm -hmm. I ate too many gummy bears. And now my stomach is going, you must perish. Thank you, stomach. 
And then I think I have a yes, I have a speed up button. I can hold this button to speed up. But not really as important. Um, I may stream tomorrow and Monday. We'll see. Gen 4, my starter gets a glow up. But this gen, I'm excited because I get to use Onyx, like for the full game. I've never gotten to do that before. And you're probably going, well, sure, you could use the Onyx the full game. I could use Onyx, but its base stat total is like 12. <laughs> I'm joking, it's not 12, it's like 300. <laughs> and, um... Since this BST is like 300... Not a very viable option, if you, if you feel me. Um... Something that is a viable option... Something that is a viable op option is Steelix, which is nice that I get to use one of the new Pokemon. I don't think I lose access to any Pokemon in this game either, which is nice. So if I was doing Mono Steel, hmm, I'd have to. If I do Mono Steel, I'll have to do the bug catching contest, which is terrifying to think of. Like, like you would think on a bug catcher, and when I bug catcher through all the games, it's like, oh yeah. That's a shame. That's a really rare encounter that I would usually catch, especially if I was starting with anyone that's not the water type. But I would generally catch that guy just in general. He's gonna kill me. He is... He is going to murder me here. Yeah, that was my death. That was... The death. <laughs> the first death of the series. To a polywag. Would I have died had I not fought two who who's fire? Yes. Because when I made it the Poliwag, I had healed my Pokemon. Also, they both did 2 damage. Poliwag did over half of my HP. And it doesn't truly matter if I over level. Um, as... Pokemon I'm catching, I can't one-shot. Meaning that they've, they're they bulky enough and they have enough HP. Not anymore. Like, I, I don't one-shot Hoot Hoots. I'm not gonna one-shot a Geodude. <laughs> um, let's see. And then... I'm going to end up, let's see, oh, my first, the beginning of my team will be Geodude, Onyx, and Rhydon. Pokedex, open the Crystal Pokedex. Sort by... Type. Go round. Okay. <gasps> Wooper! I get to use Wooper! Yeah! So, let's see, I'll have a ride on. 
a golem, Steelix. I'm definitely getting Quag and uh, Polly, Hilo. Um, I keep, I'll catch one of the Nitos. If I use a Gligar, I can use I can use Fly. I think. Sure, it's actually it's not. Gligar's stats aren't bad. <laughs> like if I one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I mean I can catch one of the Nitos, but. Might be better that I run Gligar, because that gives me fly. <laughs> also, I think Gligar has like a weakness. So. No, it's weak to water. But is that it? Is it just water? That's only weakness? I think that might be its only weakness. Rivalry, dude. Who did he pick? I just clicked on one of the starters and changed it. Oh. Makes him not as terrifying. It means I replaced grass. Which means that that's the one I thought was the biggest threat. <laughs> I, re I replaced the biggest threat with this run specifically because I wanted it to be doable. Especially since at least two members of my party will have a waist at toe a 430. 430 is not very good. <laughs> sure, Quagsire is not bad. Um, Hmm. Hello, Tori. I'm house sitting again. How are you doing, Tori? Let's see if I can summon the pupper. See if I can get a get her uh, get her attention. Uh, I'm using their internet. <laughs> I brought a computer. I brought a computer over. No, you know. Name is Gorkum. See if I can get the dog. I think she's asleep. I hear running. Is she coming? Do we get to say hi to the pupper? No what? What do you mean no his? What do you mean no his? Are <laughs> what does that mean?
Wait, what do you mean? Tori, you went to step. <laughs> oh, there she is. What do you mean, no hints? That mean to me. I'm so confused, Tori. Oh, this mess. No, no, I meant to hit no. No! I've doomed myself forever! Dude! I just realized his name is Dude! I am confused and worried. What does that mean, Tori? What does that mean? Tori, you can't just show up, say no his, and then disappear from existence. And the cold. I don't know what no his means. Oh. Is it about the name that I gave the rival? doing that. Survives. Yes! Not very effective, but lead. That's the important part. I think I'm gonna do the trade for the Onyx. So, I should catch a Bell Sprout at some point. Mainly because A, the love Rocky will keep up with the team better. And give it a name, dude. Oh. Dude, bro. The other thing is, uh, Bell Spot's easier to catch than Onyx. I 
I didn't randomize held items, so... Item tick. Why he was holding an Everstone, we may never know. The world may never know why he was holding a Everstone. Um, but, okay, so the first two gems should be pretty easy when it comes to beating. Uh, Gym 3 has the same issue it always has. Her team is tanky, and so if I don't initially outlive Hermans to the point that they can't do anything to me, I'm in danger. Um, gym 3. I mean, Gym 4. I think Gym 4 is Morty. Morty shouldn't be hard. Most of his team is poison types. Um, uh, let's see. Who's... Gym 5, Gym 5 and 6 will 100% be a problem. Gym 7... Gym 7 shouldn't be... I mean, Gym 8. Gym 8 shouldn't be huge of a problem. That's Jasmine, she uses steel types. Steel is weak to ground. She has, I think, two electric types on her team too, so. And electric steel is quad weak to ground. I can I can swank that one. Swank her pretty easy. Um Let's see the Elite Four Let me double check the Elite Four. Oh, Price is... I forgot Claire! But apparently Price is supposed to be 7. You're supposed to fight him after you, Jasmine. So... 1, 2, 3, 4... four should, the first 4 should be easy. Number 5 will probably be more difficult. Number 6 should be easy, easy. Number 7? Maybe easy, maybe hard, depends on how much water type moves he decides to use, and ice, because ice is strong against ground, and ground is strong against ice. Okay, Claire, once again, it's an issue of water type moves, she doesn't use any, it's fine. Um, Brock. Brock is a non-issue generally. He'll be really strong, but I should be pretty strong by that point. Um, Misty, Misty may be an issue. Uh, it just depends on how strong I am at that point in the game, and I may skip around Misty and do her last, that might be what I do. It should be possible. Uh, Lieutenant Surge, just like the first time, second first, same as the first, 
he was easy the first time, he's gonna be easy again. That's just, just how it is. Um, Erica, so hypothetically she should be hard, but her team is mostly poison types, and I should, I should have Flygar by then. Um, Janine, easy peasy, she's poison. Sabrina, hopefully easy. She's she's got psychic types. Those will be meh. I'm not planning on using anything weak to psychic because I used the Nina last time. I'm planning on using mostly new guys. Blaine, sweep with ground types. He's fire. Okay, then... ...comes the issue. <laughs> the issue team. Blue... His team... ...looks... ...looks normal. And then you, and you look at it and go, wait a minute. He's got... He's got him on... For each starter option, he's got Gyarados, Executor, and Arcanine. Arcanine shouldn't be an issue. Should be a non-issue. The issue is Gyarados and Executor. Um, but other than that, he should be doable. Will of the Elite Four is a Psychic Trainer, just like Jasmine, except his. Three out of his five Pokemon are um, actually weak to ground or rock. And since most ground types are rock types, I don't know. Sounds like a bad matchup, though I may take. I may take. Um, Geodude's line off of my team towards the end to use Dawn Fan. I don't know yet. Koga. Another poison type master. Team some level 40? Koga's team is level 40? Oh no, he's so weak. Bruno. Bruno is gonna be a weird one. He's strong against part of my team, weak against part of it. Um, Karen. I don't expect Karen to be much of an issue. Okay, so her first spawn is an Umbreon. It knows one offensive. <laughs> one offensive move, okay. Um, wait. Okay, good, 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 good. Her other Pokemon no more. I just scrolled down a little bit, and it's like, Gengar knows one move, and I'm like, hmm, that's bad. <laughs> She's not gonna be that much of an issue. And then you, you scroll past Gengar, and it's like, Battle Bloom knows Pedal Dance, and Acid. And it's like, okay, that's good. And then you go, wait a minute. <laughs> Vile Bloom. Vile Bloom is a... It's not a dark type. It's a grass poison. Her Houndoom knows quite a bit of moves. It's got like quite a bit of coverage. None of it's really an issue, but it's got some coverage that I have to keep an eye on. And her Murkrow out actually is probably one of her better teammates. Shame she sends it out last. And then Lance. The dragon. <laughs> okay, so first re round, we first the first time we fight Lance, right? Gen one, he has two Dragonairs, right? A Dragonite, an Aerodactyl. Well, he was an Elite Four at the time, but he's got two Dragonairs, a Dragonite, an Aerodactyl, and a Gyarados. Now, <laughs> now 
his team comes out swinging Gyarados Aerodactyl like normal. Dragonite, Dragonite. Okay, okay, he evolved his two Dragonairs. That's understand. Charizard! Excuse me? Where did Charizard come from? Did you steal blues? Like... And it knows Hyper Beam, Flamethrower, Slash, and Wing Attack. But the weirdest thing is his... All of his Dragonites that are underleveled, right? No, have... Have this... His... His... His first two Dragonites have the exact same set. He has two identical Dragonites. Angry me. Let me double check some stuff. Oh, I can find. I can figure out. Oh. The buffoon did not use this before. I should have been using this app so much more. Oh my gosh, it tells me where all the items are. <laughs> Dude, bro, got a quite the level spike there. I was hoping she'd fight me. Tackle. One damage. J dude's about to go. Hoo! Hoo! Rah! Now, I'll, I don't know what okay, level I'll catch Bellsprout at, but I'm gonna try and level it up to level 10. Oh, the cities are in alphabetical order. Mm, I think Fuchsia is the... No. Okay. Faulkner's team is level... T almost level 10. So, I should... If my reasoning is correct, get my team to about level 10. That makes sense to me. Well, he's, he's not exactly level 10. Give me a second, I have to spit up to something. Um, he's 8 and 9. For seven and nine. Bug catcher, you've met your match. I might as well be a rock type trainer at this point in the game. Ooh. Give me a second. Finish my soda. I think I'll at least beat a gym. I have free time tomorrow to stream too. 
Where do I catch a Gligar? Well, 45! At every time! Neat! Where do I catch a whoop? I could have sworn Wooper was south of... Let's see where Bellsprout spawns. I forgot to check to see if I'm about to out level my ace. Four at every time, okay. Okay, well, twenty four at every time. Poison dude, bro. Situation. I'm gonna run. That didn't work. <laughs> okay. Violet City. Yeah, yeah, that's right, I'm a stupid. Trade Bell Sprout. Thirty-one. 
it'll be level 5 if I count it, catch it on Route 31. Why did I try and run from a wild hoot hoot? And you can be Cobb? On Route 32 at level 4. Okay. Okay. Whoops the doops. It's gonna be come coming soon. I'm looking for a bell sprout here. I think I'll probably stream max two hours. Um, I'm feeling kinda off, probably because I ate too many gummy bears. Don't you bubble me! I swear to God. I swear to Jesus. Run away. I know Bell Spell spawn on this route. I take Bell Spell into cave to train. And once I take the spot into cave to train, you will come out strong enough to trade. Actually, I should probably treat him in level 5 so that Rocky obeys me. Because Rocky will disobey me if it hits level 10, I believe. Though, ironically, if you had power over space-time, at least in the Pokemon universe, I healed my Pokemon! What do you mean? I healed them! I gave them the heal heal, and they went, yee! I just need an onyx. I'll probably end up catching onyx and whooper tonight. You know, in Legends Arceus, I could do Mono Rock. Oh, this remind the Zubat reminded me. Mono poison would be fun. The issue comes. Actually, no. I'm a genius. I just have to play through a game that's got all the poison types in it. I don't have to pick yellow because I can just start with Bulbasaur. Genius. I just realized that I'm not going to be able to hit Bellsprout. I think I'll one-shot the Bellsprout. Annihilate its entire elbow. XP SD candies are a weird item I, when you think about it. Um, because so we can presume that a rare candy is made out of EXP candies, right? Okay. 
So, and a rare candy always. I'm gonna hit it with. I'm gonna hit you with a horn attack. You gotta survive, Bellsprout. Ooh. Interestingly, generally, DXP candies are better. So, say you want to level up. So say, right, right, you want to use a rare candy, but you don't want to waste the end of a level up, right? You use a bunch of small EXP candies, or like extra small, like the itty bitty kind, right? And then go slurpy derp. Thank you for your EXP candies. And then it levels up with like maybe a hundred experience points. And then you can use a rare candy. And then you're only wasting a hundred experience. And it's like perfect, right? Like, that's the perfect trait. Is this... No, it's not this guy. Is it this toddler? Yes. Deers. Deers. Put in the circle. This is the first time I think I've done a trade. You could hypothetically do a trade only run of this game by changing the starter to Bellsprout, right? Right? And if the starter is Bellsprout, you just trade your starter for Onyx. So most trades are nearby. The Onyx is level 5, it's male. It's got a bitter berry in those tackle screech. It's defense is whoosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, child. Your Onyx can tank the sun. <laughs> oh no. I think it would be fun to play through this game where you give yourself like an infinite number of uh, Everstones. Hypothetical infinite number of Everstones, right? And every Pokemon you put on your team must be a little come on, right? So you get like itty bitty baby balls. And you run around. Hypothetically, you could set everything a little cup. Joke's on you. That's quad resisted. You just are stab and a higher level. You have a stab move. You're using peck again. I see. I understand. I like how the spirit is just standing on the ground like peck peck and I'm like horn. The Stampede, level 8. I should hypothetically, 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 
be able to slurp the gym leader pretty easily. And then I can go into Bellsprout Tower, because that's mandatory. But if I go into Bellsprout Tower now, I'll have a horn attack. <laughs> and, um, and tackle. <laughs> Offensive moves. I'm a genius. I'm gonna put the Everstone on Rhyhorn. Which... Sounds weird. But... Rhyhorn gets Earthquake... 10 levels before Rhydon gets Earthquake. So, and then Geodude learns Earthquake at level 36. Let's see. What did Graveler learn? Wait. 40, 41? When does Golem learn earthquake? 41. So if we, I'm gonna, if I evolve into a Graveler, if I let it evolve, I might as well just let it keep going. Uh oh. Yeah, that's super effective. But, if I stop its evolution, For 11 levels. So, hold off for 11 levels. I get... Earthquake. Not really worth it. <laughs> Unfortunately... I don't get fly. Because I'm checking move pools. Onyx. Oh boy, Onyx. You're... Your move pools garbage. Maybe, maybe Steelix is better. Oh lord, it's so much better! It gets crunch. That's the main difference! So Onyx... Gets Bind at level 10. That's bad, for anyone that didn't know. Level 10 Bind is bad. Oh, that should be a faint, isn't it? No, he lives! He lives to miss a horn attack, okay. 14, he gets rocked up. That's pretty good. That's, that's gonna be the most helpful option I got against... Against the man bug man. And then, um... He gets hardened at 23. Which is... I'm... And then he gets Rage at level 27. Keep in mind, Rage is a good move early in the game. Right? Like... Sandstorm at 36. That's... 
that's actually really good. Getting the ability to set up the only positive weather. It's good. And slime at level 40. And then, right, right, imagine it evolves, right? Still gets mine to level 10. Everything's the same up to level 40. And at level 49, <laughs> he gets crunch. But, he can learn cut. Onyx cannot. Okay. Can any of my... Oh boy! I need to sit down. I'm dancing too much. I've already... So I've got a plan. Let's see if... No, you aren't in the chat. I have a plan-ish. I'm hoping to use a Quagsire. Hoping to use um, Steelix. Hoping to use. So it's purely hypothetical, but I'm hoping to use a Gligar. I know that's a weird choice, but I'm hoping to use it. I might end up using Dawn Fan. That is more uh, more likely, right? Uh, I'm planning on using Golem. Golem's kind of an easy pick. You catch him early on, you use him the whole game. Right on, it's plan. Um, there's Quagsire, Right on, Golem, Steelix, Gligar, and. Um, Pilot Swine. I want to use Pilo Swine. Get myself some of them damn ice moves. <laughs> this thing's gonna hit like a train. I'm terrified. You're wondering why I went to the gym first, even though that's a harder option. It's because my Onyx will disobey me as soon as it gets the chance. And I need to push that back. The Elite Four is only level 40 in this game. I just remembered that. It's a shame. I wish I knew how to pin, pin messages. I wish I knew. I wish I knew, but I don't. I also ate like half a bag of like 7-Eleven gummy bears, so my stomach is yelling at me going, you buffoon, you absolute goblin, what have you done? And I'm like, yeah. I'm probably gonna get, um... I'm... Yeah... If you're wondering, Eli, I am in, in the stream call if you want me to bring you into it. Just so you know. So that way I'll respond quicker. 
Just because I'm not home does not mean I do not have access to the server. But you can probably hear my pain. Yeah, this gremlin, Rocky. He... He will be helpful because he's an onyx. He is the first... Oh yeah, that's... I'm not sick, I just... So, I, I think I undercooked a hamburger, which isn't helping to the situation. Um... Because I consumed the entire thing anyways. Uh, and I ate half that bag of... Of gummy bears from 7-Eleven. One of like, the 7-Eleven select gummy bears. Um... It has zero fat, zero cholesterol, 10 milligrams of sodium, 23 milligrams of total carbohydrates, 12 grams is sugar, and includes 12 grams added sugar, 2 grams of protein, and that's it. It's got corn syrup, sugar, water, gelatin, Citric acid. Oh, I can't fight that. I cannot deal with that. Let me, let me flee. Let me. It cannot hurt you. You are going to sweep my team. Um, it's got sorbitol, palm oil, uh, natural and artificial flavors, carnauba wax. Beeswax, colors FD and C, red 40, yellow 5, yellow 6, and blue 1. And then I've, it's also got, it was made in a place with soy and milk. And I like inhaled them. I have somewhat of a stomach ache. And I was like, okay, well, I'll make a burger to help. And then I had the heat too high. Um, and so the outside of the burger was burned. The inside was pretty much raw. And I still ate it. That has been my night so far. Other than that, I'm fine. Other than that, uh, I am completely fine. I just sound awful. But yeah, you said you went, you asked if I had the mons picked out already. I, I do that basically ahead of time. I've got like a whole list of all the ground types that I can get in this game. And I was like, okay, now which ones should I use? There we go. My mic quality doesn't help either, so... I usually have this really, really nice, uh, like, I've got a streaming microphone, usually. This is a headset microphone from a headset that's so old that the ear cushions have split. Uh oh Like, they've started splitting apart. Rocky, no! Rocky, why? Uh, I, so... Like, just go through your, through your mod view. Yeah, so, here's the issue. I don't know how to open mod view on my phone. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, 
uh, I can't interact with messages on my phone. What can you do on your phone? Uh, I can read chat. <laughs> that's... That's it. I forgot that this place was a massive threat to me, and I was wandering around willy-nilly. So, the, every trainer in this entire building has bell sprouts, right? Every bell sprout knows Vine Whip from the beget, like the get go, right? My entire team is rock ground types. The best bet I have is one-shotting them the second I see them with my Rhyhorn. My Onyx doesn't even stand a chance here. Also, if I see a Ghastly, I have to run immediately. <laughs> do you know why? What are you gonna do to him, really? Oh, wait, you can't. I have only normal type moves, yeah. I mean, I guess I have a TM for Mud Slap, but I don't know who I'm gonna teach that to. Yes, you get the TM for Mud Slap from the flying type gym leader. So, um, the on it, the Geodude I caught has the Everstone on it, had the Everstone on it, and so I put it on, um, on my starter, because, like, Geodude's evolution line, I lose out on nothing if it evolves. I just learn Earthquake about five levels later, right? Right? Right. So if I evolve my Rhyhorn, Earthquake comes 10 levels later. And it's, it's not like it's low 10 levels too. So it evolves at level 42, and if it doesn't evolve, it learns Earthquake at level 50. So not that far off, right? right. If you do evolve it, it learns Earthquake at level 60. So it is better to just hold out on evolving it, so it gets Earthquake early. Onyx, it doesn't matter if Onyx evolves, do you want to know why? Because it's useless up until a certain point anyway. No, because it gets- the, move, the learn pool is one difference, has one difference, and that's just that Steelix, at a level higher than every move that Onyx learns, learns Crunch. And, and that's just an extra move. Oh, it just let him fall to the bonus stats. Yeah. And the bonus typing. You, you're only taking into account the fact that it goes from, like, a 400 BST or, like, a 300. Let's, let's check the BST. It's 385. And then you evolve into Steelix, and it goes up to 510. That's, that's almost double, right? And you're like, well, it can't be that much better. So Onyx's only stat that has, so it's got 70 speed. That's better than I thought. Onyx is a little faster than I thought, which 70 isn't actually that bad early on, right? It's got 35 HP base stat, which is awful. <laughs> it's got 45 attack, also bad. 30 spe special attack, also bad. 45 special defense, right? But if, if you do the math, that doesn't... That doesn't add up to... The 385 at all. It has 160 special... Or uh, 160 defense. 
If it gets hit by a water type move, it turns to dust. But <laughs> if it gets hit by water or grass type moves, it turns into a powder. But after it evolves, its speed drops down to 30, right? So it becomes really slow, and you're like, well, wouldn't that be generally bad? Like, And then you think about it, and you're like, wait a minute. Its base stat total almost doubled. If it, if its speed halved, or more than halved, where did all of that go? Well, its HP is 75 now. So that's, that's for one. Its attack is 85 now, which isn't bad by any means. It has a higher attack than Tinkaton, who is used competitively as a physical attacker, which is literally just because it gets one good move. But that's aside the point. Uh, its special attack is 55, so I guess it's a little bit more specially viable if you had to use it, but if you don't have to use it for special, don't. There's literally no reason to run it special in this game. Um, when you could just run it physical and use ground, rock, and steel, and normal type moves. So, I don't see why you would run it special, ever. Um, and its special defense is six, 65, that's, that's a bit better, it's still not the greatest thing in the world, right? You wanna know what its defense is? 200. It has 200. And do you want to know how many resistances it has? Yes. Give me a moment. It's going to take a second to count. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> it's weak to four types. It's immune to two of those resistances. And it's got a quad resistance. It's immune to electric and poison. Quad resistant to rock. And then you're like, whoa. Well, the other ones can't be super common. It resists normal, psychic, dragon, bug, flying, steel, and fairy. I don't have to worry about fairy in this game. And it is weak. So, it's not the best that it's weak against three gym leaders. One of them shows up one of them's typing shows up twice. Like, that's not the best. But I can switch out something else for that. <laughs> it's weak to fire, water, fighting, and, and ground. And it's like, there's no way I'm gonna lead with a, gra with a uh, steel type against any of those types. To begin with, right? Like, why lead with a steel type into a fire or ground type when I can lead with Quagsire? Who, Quagsire's base stat total isn't that great. It's got a 430 base stat total, right? So not the best thing in the world, right? Except for the fact that its stats are incredibly balanced, making it pretty good just all around, right? So it's got 95 HP, which is by no means bad. It's got 85 attack, once again, by no means bad. It's got 65 spe uh, or 85 defense, which is once again by no means bad. 65 special attack, which is pretty good. It's pretty bad considering that half of its stab moves are special, but it's viable. <laughs> it can be made viable. It's better than a Zoomeril, so that's that's for sure. Uh, it's got 65 special defense, so its a its attack and defenses are the same for each type of attack and defense it has. And its speed is 35. The speed of 35 is where the BST goes down. Quagsire also only has one weakness, making it an incredibly good switch-in on basically any type. Sure, it's only got four resistances and one immunity, but its only weakness is grass, meaning that as long as I don't send it out against Erica, you see, you see what I'm saying? As long as I don't send it out against Erica, there's no problem. <laughs> I just think Quagsire is a funny guy. Like I just look at his face and I smile every time I look at it because I go, yeah, that's pretty. 
time. So I was talking to a patient today, and he and his his wife were in, and they and they like Pokemon. They hadn't played Scarlet and Violet yet, but the husband had seen some of the leaks, and the wife hadn't seen anything. And the husband and I brought up Claude Zire. And she Googled it, and I think that just knowing of Claude Sire made her day. Of course. <laughs> just that little dude. I didn't realize that Rhydon had five resistances and an immunity. Once again, Rhydon's only got a, um, a 485 base stat total. What you would think would be awful, and then you realize that it's not very equal. <laughs> it's like, some of these stats are a lot better than others, right? Right. So, let's go with its bad stats to begin with. Wait, that's a Hoot Hoot. I'll, I'll try and... I'll try and swonk it a bit with a Horn Attack. And then I'll switch into Rocky, who can definitely take tackles. Yeah, perfect. Um, and get some levels on Rocky. Um, so its worst stat is speed. It's really slow with 40 speed. And it's like, okay, that's pretty bad. Uh, its special attack and special defense are even at 45. Okay, that's not great. And then its health, its next worst stat, right? Right? 105. That's its next worst stat. Then its defense, physical defense, is 120. And then we come out with its last highest, like its final stat, right? 130 in the physical attack department. Wow. And the, and the best part, like he's a heavy hitter, right? The best part is I don't have to run Surf on him this time, so I can change that out with something like Strength. Another fun fact that I learned, I will have to have an HM Slave until I either get Gligar or Steelix. Because both of them learn Cut. <laughs> I think Gligar learns Cut. Yes, it gets cut. Where do I get Gligar? Route 45, so it's a, it's a bit away. It's a bit away. I can smell those gummy be bears, and it is giving me an, like a headache behind my eyes. <laughs> it's like secondhand exposure. Yeah, it's bad. Ironically, Golem has the same BST as um, Rhydon, right? Which is funny, because Golem is a final evolution. Um, uh, Golem, Golem's stats are about a lot more balanced. Like, Golem's definitely the thing I would probably send, send in against a special attack, right? With its 65 special defense. At the moment, that's the highest special defense I've read off to you, right? And it's got 55 special attack, 45 speed, so those are a little higher than the other options, right? And then you then you get to the HP of 80, and you're like, okay, I just hit the wrong move. I've doomed myself to death. Um... Yeah, good thing I have. Pick. Old fast, old fashioned. No way, that's confusion. I have to walk all the way back. <laughs> um. <laughs> but um. Golem has probably the highest defense on the list of Pokemon I've listed off at 130. Like, ground types are tangy boys, but... But if I were to run- wanted to run a special attacker... 
I would probably run Nido Queen or Nido King. Both of them having like 85 special attack, right? <laughs> Even though none of their stab types are special, right? <laughs> oh, that's just silly to me. Uh, interestingly, Gligar has 430 uh, base stat total. That's the same as Quagsire, which is interesting to me. That Gligar, an unevolved Pokemon, is equal in stats to Quagsire. Right? That's interesting. Uh, it's got 65 HP, 75 attack, 35 special attack. <laughs> so you're not running it special, that's for sure. Um, 65 def special defense, 85 speed, so it's probably the fastest thing on here except for Onyx. And do you want to know what its defense is? 105. That's not bad, is it? Not at all. Then the next Pokemon that I'm planning on using, for sure, is, uh, it's only got a, a 250 base stat total. It's a little bean. It's a little bean man. Right? It's got 50 HP, 50 attack, 40 defense, 30 special attack, 30 special defense, and 50 speed. Right? It has a weakness and an immunity, or a resistance and an immunity, five weaknesses, right? All of this is sounding bad, right? So, it's like, so far, so bad. But it evolves at level 33 into something that's got a 450 base stat total. <laughs> so just double that. Double is original. Um, his HP, 100. Attack, 100. Highest attack stat we've seen so far. Also, that Bell Sprout just beat me up. Okay. Let's see if Dude Bro can do anything about this. Um, it's got 80 defense, so it's by far the lowest defense we've seen, right? And then it's like, oh no, what? What about its other stats? It's got 60, 60, and 50, so it's got a not awful. <laughs> Not the worst thing in the world, like... Um... It's a pile of swine. I was thinking maybe using something that had a, uh, 330... BST for a while. Until it evolved. 90 HP, 60 attack, 60 defense, 40, 40, 40. That's ironic that his last three stats are 40s. Um... There's Onyx's speed coming in, but there's Onyx being made of paper. <laughs> um, it's got two resistances and immunity and three weaknesses. Evolves at level 25 into something with a 500 base stat total. That is the strongest thing I've listed off so far, right? Right. It's a Dawn fan. Its attack and defense are equal at 120, which is scary. Can I go past this guy? The hurry. You better play the video game. Oh, he wants me to go pick up the egg that I'm gonna throw in the PC or cook into an omelet. Yummy. Unless it's a random tree. What? Oh, that's a berry tree. Oh. There are berries in this game? It becomes apricorns later, but yes, there are berries in this game. Dawnfan's not that bad. It, definitely not a special attacker. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. None of these mons have been a special attackers. So, ironically, people often say Nidoking should be run special. Um... Because of sheer force, saying that Earth power, right? 
saying that Earth power activates Shear Force, and I don't think it does. Oh, I... It does, because it has a 10% chance of lowering their special defense. And so Shear Force would get rid of that and then, like, double its power. Would I use that, though? No. Because the fool that said that is not considering the fact that um, Earthquake is a spread move. So it gets stronger if you're only hitting one person. And if you're hitting two people, it hits both. Um, but also, it's I think it's the same person that said um, that Gudra was the worst pseudo-legendary. Do you want to know the reasons they gave? Gudra is pure dragon type, except for Hisui and Gudra, which is not, which is like, okay. It doesn't gain that secondary typing that gives it all the hit, all the strong stab abilities, right? When you, when you think about it, the only ones that really use their secondary typing, Dreepy uses it, um, or Dreepy's line does, Dino's line does. Jang Mo -O, or, yeah, Jang Mo O's line kinda does. Um, Aplin's line barely does. Um, but those guys, Aplin's not a, um, not a pseudo. Like, they're like, oh yeah, and then there's T-Tar, one of the best defensive options because of how high his defense stat is. And it's like, okay, so Gudra, who has 120 special defense. Now, this is only important because Gudra's weaknesses, being dragon, poison, or dragon, fairy, and, and ice, right? Those are its only weaknesses. Are primarily special attacks. Right? So it's like, well, okay, that's fair. I shouldn't have taken the bitter berry off. <laughs> he would have eaten it right there. Um, but it's like, okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. Um, that his primary weaknesses are special. Well, you can run them physical, and it's like, yes. Gudra gets curse and acid armor. To, to augment its low, its low, quote-unquote, defense, right? Can be augmented with acid armor. It's like, well, okay. That, that's understandable. But it doesn't have recovery. It can't, it can't use recover or roost. Do you know what it has, Eli? It has a rest. It has a rest, which most people are like, oh, but that puts you to sleep. It's primary, so it's got two primary abilities. Aside from Gooey, it's hidden ability, which negatively status affects the opponent, which <gasps> Wow, how lucky am I that it was the, f that it was the first thing that shows up was the Whoopie Boy. Um, Bring him home. But uh, they're like, oh, but it doesn't have the ability to lower stats on the opponent. I mean, it does, it has lots of them. Its ability that has it to, if they make contact with it, it lowers their speed. Meaning that you could lower something's speed and then not have to put speed investment into another Pokemon. But they ignore that and they're like, oh yeah, but it's recovery. Uh, Sap Sipper makes it immune to grass type moves and heals it. Or hydration. Now hydration is the scary one, right? So I mentioned rest earlier that puts you to sleep, right? So here's the thing about hydration. If you run Gudra on a rain team, the way most people do, 
hydration prompts. Because it's raining, and it wakes up. Gudra is woken up from its slumber due to the rain and hydration, meaning that it's just a better recover. It has more power points than recover, for one. And it's like, okay, but, but the health it heals, it fully heals Gudra from zero, from, or from one. So you could run Sash Gudra, it could get hit down to one HP and fully heal and make that entire turn just consume an item. And it's like, okay, okay. So I could, I could, I could give them all of that, right? And they're like, oh, and, and it doesn't hit very hard, and it doesn't have good moves. And then you go and look at Gudra. I'm bringing back up <laughs> the Pokedex. So I can bring up Gudra's information. I'll bring it up in Scarlet Violet. Gudra. So aside from the fact that it's got 90 HP, 100 attack, 70 defense, 110 special attack, but which is by no means bad, 150 special defense, which is terrifyingly good, and 80 speed, which is by no means bad, all of its stats are good, considering, even considering that it's a pseudo legend. It has three weaknesses. Oh, I guess Sap Sipper doesn't heal it, it just raises its physical attack. So if you're running physical Gudra, you want it to be Sap Sipper. Um, let's, let's bring up its, bring up its move pool. Okay. So it's got Acid Spray, which lowers special defense. Dragon Breath, which paralyzes opponents. Like, okay, okay, but those both have lower, lower, um, lower power points, so those can't be as good. It gets tearful look that lowers both attack and special attack by a stage. It gets poison tail, which crits more often. It gets faint, which goes through protect and detect, right? It's absorbed for self healing. These are just its level up moves, first and foremost. It gets Protect, it gets Flail, so you do a lot of damage to it, and then it goes Whoppa! and just one-shots you. It gets Water Pulse, Rain Dance, Curse, Body Slam, Muddy Water, which lowers their accuracy and power level. And it's like, oh, okay. I can see why people would say that that's not the best. Okay, yeah, like, that's, that's understandable. It gets Charm as a TM move, which partially lowers attack, lowers attack by two stages, right? Uh, it gets Water Pulse, which causes confusion. It gets Chilly Water, which lowers the attack, targets the stack, attack stat by one stage, and it's a 50 base power water type move. It gets Bulldoze, which lowers speed. It gets Mud Shot, which lowers speed. Basically a, f a special Bulldoze. Um, Gets Dragon Tail, which forces your opponent to switch out. It gets Endure to survive a hit. Gets Sunny Day and Rain Dance. Don't personally know why you would run it on a Sun theme, but that's on you. Uh, it gets Body Slam, which is okay. Thunder Punch and Fire Punch, and Sleep Talk, and Dragon Claw. Meaning that, say for example. Your um, you lose your rain and you use rest. You can then use sleep talk and have a chance of it setting up the rain, or have a chance of it just nuking someone for more of it. Right? It's like okay, but what was that? The I was just saying right. Yeah. Um, sometimes. I, I didn't hear you. I I just heard. I, I heard I feel voice. Like right now, you know that meme of the of the guy talking, and, like having a profuse debate with a brick wall. No. No. Okay. Okay. J j just keep doing what you're doing. 
Oh, I was just reading out the things that it gets so that you can understand my confusion at this guy saying that Gudra is a bad pseudo legendary. It gets a stomping tantrum, which is a weird move. It's base power doubles if it failed the prior move. So, like, if you were spamming protect, it per failed protect, you could use stomping tantrum. I prefer just using, like, sleep talk when you're not asleep. <laughs> so you don't have to risk succeeding. Um, it gets rock slide, which flinches. It gets body press, which is based off defense and not attack. It's substitute dragon pulse surf. Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Fire Blast, Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Sludge Bomb, which gives it Fairy Counter, and which has a 30% chance to poison the target. Earthquake, Giga Impact, Outrage, Focus Blast, Hyper Beam, Thunder, Draco Meteor, and Terra Blast. Oh, and it gets Life Do and Counter via Breeding? So it's got a ton of coverage. It's got a ton of counters. And it's got a ton of su support. Now I gotta check the meme you sent me. That looks like someone planning a speech. I almost lost to that fisherman. Bearing in mind that fisherman was probably the worst possible person to hit. <laughs> For this run? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just realized that the only person whose chat I can't interact with is my own. Yeah. I can click on you and I can like I can I could mod you, I could mention you, I can whisper to you and I can do all of that from my phone. If you mod me in your comment and then you can unmod me. <laughs> At that point I might as well just open Google Chrome on this computer. Actually, I might as well open Google Chrome because I'm going to need to raid in about 20 minutes. You have to walk the dog? No, I was just I was just planning on doing a two-hour stream today. Well, that's a fast track back to town. And, um... Like tomorrow... Expressway. Yeah, and then tomorrow doing a longer stream. Yeah, well, when I'm out of the house, when I'm out of the house, I can do, I can do more, more streams. You know what, I'm just going to leave it for the next 20 minutes, it's fine. I keep on, like, you know the, the, the Twitch react feature? Like, yeah. Player? Yeah, I, I don't, I think I'm the only one on the planet who uses that, and even then, I only click the what emote, and that's it. Like, I, I don't think there's any human being on this planet who has unironically used that. Just because, why would you when you can just do it in chat? Sort of actually look at it. You know? Yeah. Whoa, wait a minute. What? I just scrolled down and you were at 99. Yeah, I have 99 followers. Big man. I I think my highest follower count was like 103. Literally, my only issue is that I don't have enough average viewers. Though, I'm getting there because my last stream had three average viewers. 
So I'm getting close. How it is typically, because it's looking like five right now, but that tends to vary. Yeah, it says four for me. And I can't turn it off. I can't turn it back. I, I have it off on my home. On my home setup, but I can't turn it off on mobile, and it's so annoying to me. I've tried everything to do it, and all I can do is I can click on it, right? And that just brings up the list of everybody watching. <laughs> like, I can see the list of bots that Twitch doesn't consider real people. Because if I check in the list of viewers, right, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, right? Just in the list, excluding Tori, who's considered VIP, and me, who's considered broadcaster. Um, though it shows me four people, that means that, like, so it's counting 15 people total, including me. Uh, you remove me from the equation. It counts 14. That means 10 people on that list are bots. That's awesome. And they are there before I start, and they are there when I end. Mm -hmm. I, just, I spent like a, like a day off stream just banning every bot other than Commander Root. Yeah, let's... It was a. What is Commander Root? Commander Root's like a like a guy who has a lot of convenient tools and such. And so the Commander Root bot account is like for getting diagnostics and such. Oh, um, so it's just a helpful bot that somebody made and then just sent to everybody's stream. Something like that. I'm just so, glad none of them have said it. So the weirdest thing is. Like, I accidentally clicked on one earlier, and it brought me to an actual Twitch TV, uh, or Twitch page. Fully set up with paid, um, paid things. And I was like, excuse me, what? If you look up... Which tools by Commander Ryu you'll find it. Ah. Uh, Which, uh, love the QOL stuff. I love sitting in a black cave, because that's the only thing that Wooper can kill is things in this black, dark cave. Imagine having Flash. You realize that the reason I'm grinding levels right now is to get Flash, right? You know that old man at the top of Sprout Tower that one shot my entire team with Bell Sprouts? Oh. He gives you Flash. Wonderful. He is Dude McFlasherson. Now, counter argument what if you just grind out the tower? I can't hurt the thing that spawns in the tower. You have to. Well, Wooper can, but nothing else can. What is this reaction thing you're speaking of? Well, it's what we were talking about, where there's the little react button beneath the Twitch player. Ah. So every five minutes, I just click the... I just click it, and then I click react, and then I click the... the what? And I click OK. <laughs> it doesn't tell me that you do that. It, it tells you after stream, and so I think you have to look through... Look through. There's like a few different options for it. I don't know the names of the emotes because I'm not a nerd, but... Uh, me me pulling, up a, pulling up a stream to see if I... Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, it says hype, funny, love, what, and oh no. Yeah, I, I click what every time, every day of the week. I cannot wait for the day they remove that feature, but until they do, I'll be the only human on this planet actually using it. Can't believe it. 
I I've used it before. Really now? Yes. It's the same thing with the awards on Steam. I've never used one of those in my life. I use them to tease people. Mainly Tori. I have purchased every single Steam award on Tori's page, and I only did it because I knew Tori hated it when I gave her Steam awards. <laughs> it's extra fun when the person gets a notification for it. Well, because it sends her an email. Giga Chad me, just got that one potion. Dab on them with the one potion. In the dark cave. Okay, so I have a funny story. I was doing a randomized race of dark cave with a friend of mine, or of soul silver with a friend of mine. And uh, I realized that Dark Cave, the darkness in Dark Cave was offset kind of weirdly. And I was like, well, that's odd. Why is that? Turns out, I never found out why. <laughs> Just turned out that Dark Cave, I could see because it was offset. So the circle was in the bottom corner, and I could see the entire outside edge. And I could see my player, right? So like... <laughs> so I, I couldn't see the, the cave and the player in the same location, but being able to see the place in, ahead of the player gave me an incredible advantage. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't even a hack. I still don't know what caused it. Just like I don't know what caused me to skip the entirety of the distortion world in um, Pokemon Platinum on my Mono Dragon run. Don't know what caused that. I am kind of excited that I have four of my Pokemon already. The only unfortunate thing is I won't get the rest for a long time. <laughs> we have to go to place. Gligar is on Route 45, right? Which is well, which is fine. Right now. No, I'm on. Wooper is on Route 32. Ow. Um. See, this is Route 36. And down here, the Ruins of Elf. Yeah, um, yeah, so... The issue is that Swinub, I know where Swinub is. Swinub is after the Ice Gym Leader. <laughs> He's gym leader number seven. Though, Swinub does come at the perfect time. You want to know why? Yes. Swinub comes just in time to fight the dragon gym leader. Dr dragon is gym number eight in this region. This region has both regions, yes. Or this game has both regions, yes. Okay, so one of the pets that I'm house sitting for, I'm sit house sitting for two. There's a dog who's really friendly to me, but not to everybody, right? Which is to be expected. And then there's there's a um, there's a cat, right? right? And when I came home. The I went in to feed the cat, and the cat was meowing for food, right? And I put the food in the bowl, and then the cat hisses at me, and jumps down off the counter, and stands in the doorway hissing at me, 
whenever I try and leave the room. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you want? <laughs> I was hoping to live to live a hit so that I could debuff Bellsprout, but I didn't. And so now I get to take a hit from Bellsprout. This will work out in our favor. I would like to at least complete Bellsprout Tower before raiding out. This will definitely work in our favor. Do not worry about it. Just make sure the Onyx takes a hit. <laughs> You're like, just make sure Onyx bulks a hit for us. And it's one of those things where I can't even heal because it does 23 damage or something like that. That's just over half of my health. Well, you can heal if you send out Onyx. I mean, I suppose. Onyx got that kill, though, and I'm proud of it. Level 10. It learns yeah. Bind. Wow. Well, this is doable. Hoot Hoot doesn't know any move. Hoot Hoot knows Tackle. No, no, I don't think you understand. Who, who has Tackle oh. and Foresight? The Tackle and Foresight. Yeah, identify this. How does that help you? I will probably teach Mud Slap to Rocky. Yeah, who gave a lot of experience? Dang, Rocky kind of clutched. Yeah, the speed is what made me win that. Like, I would not have won that if I didn't have something fast. Like, Geodude, Geodude may have done more damage, but he's definitely slower than a Bellsprout. Like, the Bellsprout line is surprisingly fast. I mean, what, you think Victory Bell running at you at Montan isn't gonna be horrifying? So, okay, Victory Bell was a really good Pokémon in Gen 1 for the same reason Persian was a good Pokémon in Gen 1. Do you know why that is? Why? Crits were based on speed. Oh, right. Both of them have... I'd say above average speed. They're not like the fastest things in the world. I think like Victory Bell has like 75 speed, which at the time was pretty good. Nowadays, 75 speed is average. <laughs> Nowadays, 75 in a base stat is average. But Victory Bell and Persian used to be some of the fastest mons around. And Victory Bell got Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf was good because it was a multi-target move, but it also had an increased crit rate. <laughs> so it had a higher chance of critting. Combined with Victory Bell's speed, made it almost always crit. And then, then you consider something else. Persian had like 80 base speed and slash, which is just a strong normal move that has a high crit chance. So, confirmed hits, crits, all around, Con confirmed crits. I hit you once, you got crit, I hit you again, you're dead. Okay, I had a really fun double build that I built in um, Sword and Shield generation. That was, you would think I would use new Pokemon, but it was two normal types. Uh, it was a Linoon and an Ambipom in doubles, right? Now, they both had the ability Pick Up, which most people go, Oh, that move doesn't do anything in a battle. They'd be wrong. <laughs> pick Up. So what Pick Up does is if the Pokemon next to you consumes an item, your Pokemon picks up the item. So like if they eat a berry, the Pokemon goes, you're gonna finish that and eats the berry, right? Now here's the funniest part. If you use the move Fling, it considers it consuming the item. 
So Li Nun was holding a king's rock, and uh, I think I think it was a sharp claw that Ambipom was holding. Both of them, when flung at an opponent, make some flinch. Fling is a dark type move, so there's nothing that's immune to it. So you would um, you would fling first turn and get that flinch in there, and the flinch would make them flinch because your Pokemon were faster than theirs, right? Right? And so it's like, okay, well, um, we flinch this turn, but they can't do it again. And then the Pokemon would pick up each other's item, and you pressed fling again. <laughs> Literal menace. <laughs> Active threat number four and five right there. The only way you could do any better is running it on like an Alolan Persian, but that doesn't get pickup. Uh, but a Alolan Persian would get stab on the flame. <laughs> so you do more damage. But the damage itself doesn't matter because, um, because they're never going to move. The issue is, you can hypothetically outspeed them or hit them with a priority move like Mach Punch. And if it gets hit with a Mach Punch, it's just kind of folded in half. Because they're weak to Mach Punch. Now it's time to, uh, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk down there again so I remember where I am tomorrow, but I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna try and get up early, walk the dog, uh, or eat, walk the dog, I should, probably shouldn't be saying walk the dog so loud, because it's probably getting the dog excited, um, then I'm gonna feed <laughs> feed the animals and then after that uh, I'll probably start streaming for a while oh yeah running away is based on speed too speed does a lot of things in early Pokemon games that's that's two crits in a row Remember how I said speed is important? <laughs> because that Rattata was faster than me, I couldn't run away. And because it was faster than me, it crit. Both times. Oh, there's it's faster than me. Wooper is really slow. Which, so here's the ironic thing about speed being based on running away. A lot of fast Pokemon get the ability Runaway, which is really funny to me. Because that just makes them auto-flee from attack, <laughs> from the uh, battle. Runaway means that it has a 100% chance of escaping. You can do have the same effect by just equipping a smoke ball, but it consumes the smoke ball. That's all smoke balls do. No, I don't need to go to the cave. That cave is a completely optional part of the game. Oh. That's why we're... Oh, it just goes up like that. Yeah, because Geodudes are there. Ah. That was the closest access to a rock type that I had. Um, and Wooper only knows Water Gun currently. So... You, you feel him? You picking up what I'm putting down? This area has a lot of birds, so I'm gonna get past that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save down here. I'm gonna raid. Then you're gonna actually check your stream summary after this, because apparently that's where all the uh, reactions show up. Well, yeah, it sends me that in an email. In an email, dude. In an email. 
Yeah, I mean... It's not like I have a choice. Steam auto- or not Steam, Twitch auto sends them an email. Apparently there's just uh, the panels for it on the summary page. Oh, I never opened that. No, no one ever looks at the witch summary. They would never. There we go. 